All right, so in the last part, we modeled the barrel, and now it's time to UV unwrap it. And some people find UV unwrapping can be a bit tricky, but I'll walk you through the steps I go through to make it as easy to understand as possible. Now let's jump right in and check it out. All right, welcome back. So let's UV unwrap our barrel in case you want to texture it for your own games or projects, and it shouldn't take us very long at all. So first, let's select our barrel, open up our channel box. We have a bit of history here and we uh, scaled it a little bit. So click um, delete history and freeze transformations. Now let's close the channel box and we'll open up our UV editing workspace. Go up to your workspaces, this drop down here and choose UV editing. And what I wanna do uh, with this is we're going to UV unwrap it using the 3D cut and sew tool. So first we'll need a projection, select your barrel, open up the UV tab and choose camera base. And this will make a projection based on what the camera sees. Uh, I'm gonna go into object mode next. So I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, choose object mode. And now let's go back to the UV tab and choose this 3D cut and sew tool. And how this tool works is if I double click on an edge, it'll make a cut along that loop. And if I um, click and drag, it'll make a cut as well, right? To sew it back up, hold down control, click and drag, and that'll sew that back up. And if you hold down control and double click, it'll sew back up that loop. All right, so now what we all we need to do is um, add cuts where we need it. So I'm gonna double click this edge, now I'll add a cut right there. I'm going to double click this one, and then I'm going to click and cut along the side. There we go, and there you go, that's done. Press Q to go back to your select tool. And in this window, I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button and choose UV shell. Next, I'm going to box select all these shells and open up this unfold tab, and I'm going to click unfold. There you go, and our shells are unfolded for us. Let's open up the arrange and layout and click Orient Shells. There we go. I'm just gonna move this one off to the side. Um, and with this one, maybe I'll rotate it as well. So I'm pressing E to go to my Rotate tool, hold down J and rotate it this way. All right, and it looks pretty good. You can see the shell, the UVs aren't quite straight, right? We can fix that though, select it. And um, down here, there's a Straighten UVs option under the Unfold tab. Click on that and there you go. That's all straightened up. Perfect. And now let's go through our little checklist of things. Um, over here, um, click on the second one. This will show whether your UVs are flipped or not. We want them to be blue, so it's facing the correct direction. Um, that's done, so that's perfect. And now on the third one, we're checking for distortion. So any major red or blue spots. Um, our unfold did a really good job, so no major red or blues, that's perfect. And the last one is the checkerboard. So we're checking for texel density. Make sure that it's even across your UV shells, which it is, right? There we go. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn off the checkerboard. And now let's perform a layout. So let's select our shells. We'll go up to the Modify tab. Down here we have a Layout option, Layout option. And then um, I'm just going to reset this. And I'm going to give it the option to rotate shells. Sometimes you have a lot of shells and you want to give it that option. And I want to give it a bit of padding as well. So four pixels should be fine for the shell padding and four for the tile for, should be fine as well. And then click Layout UVs. Here we go. And now Maya has laid out, laid out this for us. And um, we're pretty much done. But one thing to keep in mind is, I'm just going to open this up a little more. Um, we have a lot of wasted space here. so. Um, when you're UV unwrapping an object like this, you might want it to share a space with another object to fully utilize the rest of this space. All right, let's go back to our regular workspace, which is my personal workspace, right? And I'm gonna go back into object mode and our object has been UV unwrapped pretty quick, right? And the process is pretty painless. We'll be UV unwrapping lots of objects in the future as well to get more practice, but this is done. All right, and that concludes our tutorial on how to create a low poly barrel. That's it for this one, but we'll see you in the next. This has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.